Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the awesome today. I wanted to play a bunch of heavy PPCs, and this thing is actually good for carrying those. Why? Because it is quirked to the max for it. So let's take a look at that before we dive into the build itself. As you can see, we have a PPC a velocity bonus of 20%, heat generation, negative 10%, and then energy heat, which is kind of the same uh, category, is also negative 10. So we have a negative 20% on the PPCs, as well as a PPC family H. SL plus one. So it's very family, very family friendly here. Uh, and that means we can shoot more than two PPCs at the same time. So we get an additional one that we can shoot without ghost heat. And that means we can shoot all three, which deals 45 damage alpha strike. And if we're getting lucky, we even can penetrate heads quite quickly. Uh, because as you can see here, we have a total of 38 armor and structure combined and 45 is obviously more than that. So this is a headshot monster. If you can actually aim at the face of your enemies. We also have some support weapons and those are four medium lasers because our PPCs, as you can see in the diagram there, they have a dead zone of 90 meters. So don't shoot your PPCs beneath 90 meters. You will just rack up some heat, but you will deal no damage at all. Therefore, we have the four medium lasers to defend ourselves a little bit and sometimes even amplifying the damage when we have some external or extra heat capacity because uh, yeah, the more damage, the better it is. Uh, speaking of heat capacity, we also only run 16 double heat sinks in a build like that, so it's quite toasty as you can see. We have a heat management uh, factor of 1.18, it's not great, so be advised. This thing runs hot, you need some cooldown periods, but at the same time we also have something else and let me go back to the quirks and that is uh, structure. We have structure on the center torso plus 25 and on the right side torso and on the left as well plus 18, which means we can use that for external uh, heat sinking or not heat sinking but heat capacity because when you overheat and you're overridden you will damage yourself internally but since we have so much structure we might as well just take that and uh, you know keep shooting to a certain extent. We are running a light engine 300 which is the biggest one that we can take as well as a targeting computer mark one that gives us a bit of a zoom bonus as well as a projectile speed of 2.5 percent and a bit of crit chance but that's kind of ne negligible. We have skills as well, so let's talk about them. And as you can see here, we have invested into the firepower tree to get the heat gen nodes here, here, here and here, as well as here and here. So this is the, the kind of most efficient path in my books to get as many heat gen nodes possible with a very little node investment. And uh, yeah, we got some range and cooldown on the way down. What I wanted more than that is this here, survivability, because that uh, Atlas, not Atlas, that awesome that we are running here is kind of like the size of a barn door. It's really big. It's a very obvious target and um, some people might want to focus you and therefore the more health you have the better it is because then you can find you can either fight yourself out of the tough situation or you can just run away and seek help with your friends. We also max out cool run almost maxing out heat containment. We have radar deprivation as well as two cool shots and an artillery strike today and that's the build everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more daily content and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right first game of the day we are playing domination on the HPG manifold. People are taking top. We have a bunch of interesting people on this year. So there is this uh, what's his name? I think Sheen Shin Shin La Shin Lang. That's his name. In an urban mech canine. <laughs> Alright. So let's get on the top here. Oh, that's an MRM AC20 Atlas Kraken. Good to know. I'm gonna watch this. Yep. We hit him. But only with a bunch of PPCs. I think only two or so. Still gonna wait, 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 wait. Ah, there we go. Almost, but uh, not quite. So here we go. Let's get on the high ground. All of these snapshots obviously just made while I'm moving forward. Let's watch this ramp very closely because Point that's where enemies five, might pop up. up. And if not, then they won't. <laughs> Duh. Oh no, that's bad. Yeah, I cannot really retaliate there. That was a big hit, actually. Mm hmm. Um, Alright, so we're gonna find our spot somewhere. Enemies running. Alright, uh, low signal is not that good. People are in the bottom. A bunch of other people are here. Boo! Hello, mister. So, what can we do? I actually want to drop artillery there so that they are not going this way anymore. And can we, can we, can we? No, nah, no, we cannot. Heat level looks critical! I mean, this is a pretty, pretty tense game here. But our, actually our area denial kind of worked. And uh, we kind of hurted our enemies in a, in a pretty, pretty good way. I should really stop shooting the mediums after the big hit. We destroyed a component though, so that's nice. 
I really like it. So, ah, uh, wait, not ah. Uh, we hit him. Mm. All right, is this is a NASCAR, is it? Is it? Can we hold this? Is that possible? I don't know. Yeah, there's one guy down there. I'm working on it. Definitely working on it. All right, so we're gonna wait for this guy. Should not do that. Too hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna stay on top. We have five zero, looking strong, guys. Looking very strong. There's a Fafni in the basement and somebody else here on the right side. I think I saw somebody. It um component destroyed. Even that's a side. No, it's not a side down. Did somebody kill the Atlas? Uh, is still in the basement. Oh, okay. There's an Atlas. Where's an Atlas? That's an Atlas. Hey, Atlas. How are you? Uh, okay, so now we have the heat management to do the things that we did. Okay, okay, okay. Who's dropping? Am I dropping? 90 meters, guys. 90 meters. Atlas is busy trying to get into a position right now. And I think I missed him. I think I missed him big time. So we forced him to turn around. Cool shot. Get that Fafnir down. Heat vision. It's helpful. And no, it's it's six and one. This is not over, actually. But we have more people coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left also critical and so on. Our dire wolf is actually shutting down here. Get that Fafnir. Yeah. Uh, we can push in, guys. We are 7 1. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. And everybody is here. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that. Everybody's super aggressive. Got a kill. And got another kill? No, not quite. Great job, guys. That's amazing. Atlas is also down. Last guy's behind us. I hit him, but it was minimum range. Oh shit, <laughs> the team damage. <laughs> what a rush, guys. What a rush. Well done. That was a 12 and 2 scenario. That's efficiency, guys. That was fast and it was focused and our enemies didn't stand a chance. That was a, was a game. That was certainly a game. Let's take a look at the end score here. We had 23 team damage. All right. One killing blow, three kill most damage dealt, nine assists, 697 damage done with kind of six components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty. Second game of the day. We are playing the Frozen City. We are playing uh, Skirmish. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> he didn't take any damage here, though, because, again, 90 meters minimum distance. That's very important. So, uh, where are we going to? I think there is kind of an unwritten law that everybody has to go to the 7 line. Echo 7, Fox 7, and so on, uh, when playing Frozen City in Skirmish. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So, hey, there was another PPC. Who was that, huh? Was it you, Mr. Quickdraw, IV4? Very likely. Or very, very unlikely, actually. Because IV4s usually go for MRM builds these days. There's nothing else that an IV4 brings to the table. Because it is just strong. It is very, very good. So, let's go. Um, where are we going to, actually? Hmm. No enemies here. Just checking the cauldron. Nope. But, oh, I got hit. I got hit by somebody. But I want to hit somebody else. Let me see. There's a guy. Hey, Irby. Oh, that's not great. I, I accept your damage. Wanted to wait for my cooldown. I, uh, that was bad. <laughs> that was really bad here. Anyway, let's go. What can we do against those sun spiders? We can do a little bit because they're also in better range from me. So 700 meters. That's pretty good. We hit that guy as well. And uh, I think I want to peek again because it kind of, kind of working out right now. Here's an atlas. Ah, the building. Still. Good spot. We're gonna keep that. Again? Huh. Why did I not connect there? I mean, obviously, my, my shot did not hit the guy. That's why I didn't deal damage. But uh, still, I thought I was on point. I wasn't, obviously. Hm. Fine. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And now... Now what? I think I'm gonna change my position because my enemies know where I am and where I'm peeking from. So, here we are. Oh, this is the spider again. Cool. It's crazy. What a firing line position. Right? All right, all right, all right. So, here we go. Hit him. That's good. Big holes into armor. That's what we're gonna try to produce here. Uh, this guy's coming up next. It's not gonna expose him. Ah, there we go. But he was pushing through. I thought he was just peeking and then uh, pulling back again. What about that dude? Oh, 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 Atlas. And we are out of this. <laughs> Barely dodged it, guys crazy. That's so crazy. Uh, right side of the atlas is open. 
in the air. Ooh, more peeps coming. And yeah, flank. they are trying to get into our flank now. They are trying to get into a brawling position. Too late. Way too late. And yet again, I think there was the snowdrift there, which uh, gave the enemies cover where there shouldn't be any. That was just a miss. <laughs> that was me not hitting. Okay, so let's try to find an angle here on the right flank. It's a bit risky. Enemies might pop up anywhere. Like the soul, yeah, the soul flank. Okay, I drop artillery on this spot just to deny him the, the area. Area denial is important. That's a mad cat and I was too late for it. Uh, we actually hit somebody. That's the cool thing. Still there, right? Oh boy. There's a guy. <laughs> of course I couldn't hit. Uh, what we can do though is we could try to take these things out. It's one down. Quick. Ah. What? That's weird. That's good. So Atlas has lost his sight already. Here they come. And yeah, here they come, guys. Here they come. Do something about it. I am not a brawler. I cannot really help you, but I can deliver some support fire. Something like this. Also, I should really pop that cool shot. Definitely. Uh, yeah, that's a push. That's a proper push, guys. Mm-hmm. Let's get that peep guy. That peep guy is a... Uh, what's it? A, a, a sun... No, the, the, the thing. The cat. The kitten. Too hot! Way too hot! Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of here. I mean, we have 5-0. This is kind of looking good already. You know? No override shutdown. Never mind. No, that was good. That was still a good heat. Let's cool down, though. There's an Asuka going on, and I think this guy's gonna pop up here in a second. Three, two, one. Nope, not gonna happen. There he is! A bit too late, though. A bit too late for me. So, Mr. Hellspawn. There you go. Got some damage in. Still here. It's crazy. Eight and three. I can hit him. Destroy the component. And there is a there is a griffin coming in as well. Cool shot number next. And I would say this game is kind of in the back, right? Unless I I kind of explode myself now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go away. Wrong button! I wanted to shoot the lasers! I'm not here. I'm dead. <clears throat> Let's pretend being dead. <laughs> oh man, that was a messy, messy fight on my end here. Certainly. Alright, is he coming? Uh, he's kind of fighting. We can try. And down he goes. We certainly also contributed to the fight, so that's good. My mech techs will hate me because most of the damage that I took... Ah, uh, no, not most of the damage, but a good chunk of the damage that I took was my own damage. It is extra heat management! Let's see, we have zero killing blows, but we had 11 assists, 3 kill most damage dealt, we had uh, about 800, 786 damage done, 500 taken, and we got one component destroyed, guys. That was the heavy PPC, awesome! I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more daily content, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye!